friendship. <laughs> Adventure. Awesome. Amazing. Happy. Laughter. Memories. <laughs> Is this this man really does not know how to write poems, huh? What 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 words are these? Adventure. Who would this be? Maybe Siori's word. Awesome. Probably a Siori word. Amazing. Probably a Siori word. Happy. Probably a Siori word. Laughter. Probably a Siori word. Memories. Probably a Siori word. Honestly, dude, never mind. He's he's hitting the nail on the head, bro. He really knows how to write for the love of his life, dude. <laughs> when I see these words, I think of friends. Adventure is for the times we spend together through all life seasons and all sorts of weather. Awesome is for how I see them all. When we're together, we have a ball. Amazing is just how they are, whether we're near or even far. Happy is what I feel when I spend my time with them. Hope it never ends. Laughter abounds whenever they're around. I hope to never forget that sound. Memories are what to make me think of thee and makes me free from other misery. I will not let my friends be hurt, and I will never be inert again. Okay, again, then, like, Meiji, I feel like we gotta be boys a little bit more. Like, stop hating on, like, the actions I'm taking. I'm trying to save the goddamn Doki's lives, okay? You understand? If I did not put your body on the line, Yuri probably would have died, okay? I'm just saying, I'm just saying, okay? We gotta, we gotta think slightly logically here as I keep pulling out my yearbook. What the hell am I doing? <laughs> Dude, the, the music, like, certain songs in this are, like, way louder than others. I'm trying to, like, I don't know, mix it correctly. All right, this should be fine. Maybe even a little bit more quiet. I don't know. Who, who cares? Whatever. It's probably not that bad. While she's doing that, I look at hers. All right, Monica's poem. Let's go, let's go, let's go. New beginnings. A well-worn road or a grassy path. I've traveled the former many a time, but now it's time to walk a different path. The ground is familiar, but the grass is greener. The ending, hopefully happier. The path is rocky underneath the grass and causes blisters to form. My goal, however, is to clear in my is clear in my vision. I finally see the home. My way is clear now. I want to have what I have not. But can I? Hmm. Whoa. Again. Her poem's different from the others. Uh, different from the other one in the game. Guess I shouldn't be surprised, though. Monica reads both of our poems carefully and puts them down. Well, you definitely both have different writing styles. It's nice not to have a, a 20 random words with this. <laughs> but it does look like some of the minigame bled through with Meiji's poem. Yeah, I saw that too. Fucking loser. Wow! No, wait! I, I see it. The first line? Well, how does he know? How does he know? Oh my gosh, dude, this guy's a gamer just as much as we are. Yep, see where based words. Right, now I get it. That's good though. When Siori reads that poem, bro, oh my god. She's gonna love it. She's gonna love it. Well, uh, what did you think of Meiji's poems first? It's actually not too bad. It makes me feel warm and fuzzy inside. And that's not to be patronizing. I also feel a very slight tension at the end. I'm guessing that's because of the gameplay we did last night. Yeah. He says yeah. Murka nods sadly and then smiles again. I like your rhyming too. I understand that it isn't easy coming up with a poem every night, but it is impressive to see that you try to make a poem that rhymes for the most part. I'm with Monica. I did freestyle writing because that's more my thing. But you went the harder route. Pretty impressive, dude. <laughs> Thanks, guys. I know it's pretty bad, though. Hey, for a beginner, it was actually pretty good, and I know Siori will love it. <gasps> oh, she definitely will. <laughs> oh, I love this. It's like me and Monica. This is like our, our son. We're raising our son. It's so cute. Oh, my gosh. He's confessing to his little crush. Siori's little child of friend. Oh. Uh, can I see yours, Roar? Oh, right. Monica, can you hand me back my poem, please? Meiji hasn't read it yet. Oh, right. Monica's already stuffing it in her freaking back pocket. She wants to steal it again, dude. Anything that, like, has anything to do with us, she just wants to steal and cherish forever. Monica hands my poem back, and I read it carefully. Well, that's deep. He says that. It's deep. <laughs> 
and that uh, you definitely wouldn't understand. It's definitely one that has a hidden meaning. There's a lot of vivid imagery in this one. I can almost feel like I'm in there. I can almost smell the muck. <laughs> yeah, that was my intention. Thank you for the praise. What do you think of mine? Again, it's different than the one you normally write. Your use of imagery to tell what it is, to me, uh, a clear meaning is quite good. Bit cliche, but it's not a bad thing. I think that was like... Well, never mind. Uh, I'll, I'll, I'll save my, my thoughts on that analysis. I think there's a couple of meanings here. One could be that Monica has her own route, but it could be more normal. Maybe she sees her life taking a new path. Maybe this would have been her poem if she didn't realize this was a game. That is an amazing analysis, Meiji. Wait, you think so? What did he say? I relay the message. That's an interesting hypothesis, actually. What would my poems look like without the epiphany? Oh, we'll talk about that later, promise. Cutie. I look forward to it. Well, let's switch partners. She takes her poem and heads over to Yuri. Well, let's find another partner. Whoa! Hi! <laughs> Whoa there! Maybe I shouldn't have uh, let you eat all that sugar. <laughs> it. Um, speaking of that, that, that scene would have been so much better if they had, like, you know, the effect where, like, the sprite, like, it's flung in. You know what I'm talking about? I don't know how difficult that is, like, to do. Also, sorry, as I'm just kind of, like... Wiping my nose a little bit. I don't want to blow it because that's too loud and annoying. I love cho <clears throat> I love chocolate. What can I say? <laughs> Fair enough. I put both poems down, which Siori immediately grabs. I look over her poem, refreshing myself with its contents. Bottles. I pop off my scalp, like the lid of a cookie jar. It's the secret place where I keep all my dreams. Little balls of sunshine all rubbing together like a bundle of kittens. I reach inside with my thumb and forefinger and pluck one out. It's warm and tingly, but there is no time to waste. I put it in a bottle and keep it safe. My collection makes me a lot of friends. Each bottle has the dead to make amends. I blow off the dust of the bottle caps. Finally all done, I open up and in come my friends. All I hear is echo, 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 echo inside of my head interesting so this is actually really clever because you know we just literally had mage's analysis talking of you know oh you know maybe if monica didn't have the epiphany and understand you know what she does to her friends you know then maybe her poem would stay the same but now that she had that epiphany you know this is what it is instead so this Makes it very clear that, like, you know, Siori has not had the epiphany, right? Like, she is still going down the same track and, and line of thinking in the original game. Which... <sighs> I mean, it makes sense, you know? Like, I, I kind of just figured that Siori was okay, but... Just because we're, like, spending time with her now doesn't really fix... Siori's depression, obviously. Like, I know that. But, like, man, is she really just still going down the same path? Fuck. Interesting. I read it slowly so Meiji can read it. After I'm done, I wait for Siori to finish ours. Whoa! Uh, th these are better than yesterday's! In both, they're really good feels. Uh, Meiji's was pretty good, wasn't it? Yeah, they were good. Meiji's was very uplifting, and I really liked it. Are you sure you didn't like it because of who wrote it? <laughs> well, that that's part of it for sure. But I like to think that I know Meiji better than most, you know? So when I read his poem, it's not just a poem. It's a Meiji poem. And that makes it feel extra special to me. Like I can feel his feelings in it. Siri so hugs the sheet against her chest. God, what a bundle of sunshine, man. I reach over and rub Siori's hair gently. Such a little ray of sunshine. <laughs> she can keep it if she wants. I, I wrote it for her. Meiji says you can keep it. Thanks, Meiji. She has to take it again, but I stop her. Hey! 
Not until we share with the rest of the Dokis, you greedy little... Cookie mongrel beast? You you cookie monster? <laughs> I don't know, okay? My, my go-to for Natsuki is a little gremlin, of course. But I, I've realized that, like, none of the other Dokis really have, like, a go-to quick little nickname. Cookie monster! No! Not for you yet. <laughs> yeah. Your palm rides. still sad. Oh, I, I don't know. I guess that's just like my style. Is everything okay? Hmm? Hey, why don't I ask you the same thing? <laughs> Not good. She can't be worrying about me too. Exactly. I'm fine, Siori, really. But like, what about you, though? You sure? Maybe she's pretty perceptive. I gotta throw off somehow. Really? I'm fine. That's not how you throw off. It's like the go-to response. Really? I'm fine. Really? That's your best? Idiot? Okay. If you say so. Yeah, but like, Siori, how come you have happy thoughts and like echo, echo, echo like 10 times in a row? I'm not really sure she believes you. I'd be surprised if she did believe me. She's uh, unusually perceptive about the feelings of others. It doesn't help that my poem was painfully obvious. Yeah, it was pretty dumb. I mean, but like, like obviously, like life kind of sucks right now. <laughs> you know, like I, I, I read the poem he wrote and it's just like, well, yeah, like we're teleported into the DDLC universe. We're trying to save people from not dying. And uh, yeah, there's a man living inside of my head. You know, it's it's not really, like, the best situation, per se, you know? I think just living, like, a regular human life would probably be better, you know? Just just throwing that out there. It's like, um, you know, that, that question. It's like, you, you got isekai'd to the most recent anime you watched. How fucked are you? It's like, just being in an anime world is like not it's not it's not like a good thing you know it's just it's not granted i'd probably still take the option i would take the choice to go to the ddlc universe because like oh, i would not be able to control myself the moment monica is like rar i love you i would just immediately pounce on her and take her to the bedroom bro i couldn't i couldn't stop i would not be able to stop I would just, I would be so worried that at any moment I'd be sucked right out of here, sucked in the vacuum tube and sent back to my universe. I have no time to waste, man. Okay? Fuck, man. Do you really blame me? Okay. Raspberry noises? The f... Like... Is that the, a reference to, like, the old, like... Raspberry phones? The hell? Is, I don't understand. You. Let's get back to the poem. Oh, right. Well, uh, any critiques? Well, I'm not very good at figuring out if poems are good or bad or not. But that's why I just go with my heart. If it makes me feel things, then it must be good. What, what kind of poems do you like, anyway? To be fair, like, Siori kind of, like, seems like a little bit of a ditz when she says stuff like that, but mostly how people consume media in general there are not many people that do like real analysis or think about it more than like just like a very very base level you know what i mean it's just like you consume something and you go good and you know some people like really understand that like siori which is great some people don't really know that but you know that's also fine and also like at the end of the day siori does the fact that she is feeling something shows that she does have, like, deep analysis that can be pulled out. Like, it's weird, right? Because, again, a lot of people, that's really all they'll feel. But it's not like it, that's all it is. Because you just don't know how to mine it out of your brain yet, you know? Analysis is very, very, very much about just understanding how to get those deep-seated thoughts out of your brain and through your mouth. Because it's, like, unconscious, you know? Like, if you're just... I, people have probably had this before right you're like watching something or playing something and like you almost just like randomly start crying and you're like oh my god like why am i crying like why is this impacting me so much it's not because like what what, what your your body just flipped on the cry switch it's like no you <laughs> clearly there's like a very like deep-seated reason as to why and it has a lot of depth to it because you cried so you know yeah 
Analysis is like 50% like figuring out how to get those thoughts consciously in your brain instead of unconsciously. And then also just kind of understanding like media, you know, tropes, theming, um, like how to like objectively, like generally analyze things, you know, like if you take like a film course or something like that, you know what I mean? Creative writing, things like that. I think, I think it's kind of like a nice 50-50. Anyway. Well, I do like happy poems, but I also like sad poems. Well, you know, it's... It's the mix that I like, too. What's the word I'm looking for? Melancholic? Bittersweet. What the f shit? Bittersweet poems are pretty powerful. Can't see her liking sad poems, though. At least I didn't before. Meiji doesn't think that you're the type to like sad poems. Dude, I feel like we just threw him under the bus for saying that out loud. Well, I like happy poems the most. But I'm actually like super depressed too. So like sometimes I like to read sad poems because you know, like you do you understand what I mean? Because there's because there's that deep seated stuff, so it like helps her either cope, relate, understand herself better, like stuff like that, right? It's like you do. But she probably doesn't even really understand that. But sometimes when you have a little rain clouds in your head, a sad poem can give that rain cloud a hug and make a happy rainbow. That that that's her analysis, right? That's cool. I like that though. It's like a good way to put it. Very poetic. It is. Maybe I'm getting better at expressing my feelings after all. Then. Thanks, Meiji. Thanks, Rar. I hand her my poem, or hold her my poem. Hold up my hold up her poem. Well, why don't we get on to yours? Wait. Oh, okay. I was like, wait, didn't we already read it? I, I thought. Anyway, yeah, we're good. All right. So yeah, let's give our analysis on uh, on her poem. Let's do it. Okay, what do you think? Meiji? Siori, did you really write this? I relay the message. Of course I did. Didn't I tell you yesterday that I was going to write the best poem ever? I've been really in touch with my feelings recently. I can tell. It was really good. It's pretty sad too if you look past the happy thoughts. Or if you like look into the happy thoughts. Hmm? What do you mean? Well, I mean, look at the speaker. They give so much of themselves to make others happy. But where's the happiness left for them? Very good poem overall. You should be very proud. Oh, thanks. I feel like... I feel like I was meant to express myself this way. It even helps me understand my own feelings a little bit better. Writing is like magic. You've absolutely no idea. Writing's the best. I'm gonna keep writing until I die. Uh, well, luckily that'll only be a couple of days, so you probably can keep that promise to yourself. Stop with the death flags. Let's hope it's a very long and happy life. I look forward to reading your poems, as does Meiji. Oh yeah, we are. Also, can I keep your poem? Can Meiji keep your poem? Yeah, of course. I need to show the rest of my club, but afterwards you can. Great. See you later. You too. She walks off. I decide to go see Natsuki next, this time around. Looks like she's been waiting. It took you long enough. Where were you and Siori? Oh, what were you and Siori talking about? Poems. You sure? She seemed upset. My god, dude. She... Natsuki is just like the most offensive human being in the league. It makes sense though. I promise, I didn't make her upset. Okay. Let's see those two poems then. She takes our two poems and I read her poem for Meiji's sake. Amy likes spiders. Amy is basically the best human being in the world, but she likes spiders. So fuck that hoe! Hey, I've got a question. Yeah, go ahead. Um, I know we read this when we play the game, but what does it mean? Well, many fans of the game believe it has two meanings. Some think that Amy is a reference to Yuri, and that Spiders is a reference to her cutting. I've actually never heard that, ever. I guess it could... I feel like that's too deep of an analysis. Even though like, it's, it's pretty like straightforward. Like, I've never heard anyone say that. 
Is that a common thing? Am I dumb for, for never hearing that or, or thinking that myself? Huh. Sorry, I'm now I'm, I'm now just thinking about it. Maybe I am dumb for not thinking that. But does Natsuki even know about Yuri's cutting, though? Does she learn that in DDLC Plus? I don't think so. No, there's no way. I don't think they ever got into anything that deep. Okay, I gotta, I gotta, I, I'm, I'm not even like verbalizing my thoughts really. I'm just, I'm thinking about it in my head, and this is something I should just do on my own time. <laughs> Others think that Natsuki's writing about herself and her love uh, of manga from an outsider's perspective. Yeah, that's exactly what I think. Yeah, it just seems like so... Like, no? But... I, I, I gotta go with this one. I mean, this is what I have always seen it as. But I also love how College Club, like, just, like, actually made, like, Amy a character and, like, Amy likes spiders and she's, like, a nerd. I love, I love that. But she's, like, sweet. I love the literal translation, and I also like this one. The other one is cool too, but I just, eh, eh, I don't know. Well, she'll explain herself soon. Finally, Natsuki finishes our poems. She doesn't look happy. <laughs> this wasn't supposed to happen at all. Why can't you just be bad at this? My poems are supposed to impress you two, not the other way around. Natsuki, did you just compliment us? No, I, I mean, you know. Natsuki struggles a bit. As she's struggling to think of an excuse, I press the attack. Hold up. Back up a minute. Huh? You're trying to impress me? But yesterday, you said you hated my guts. How many times do I have to tell you? I don't hate you. I, I love you. Ah, oh, crap, I said something wrong. Guess she feels guilty about yesterday. Oh, shit. Natsuki, I'm sorry. That was completely rude. Let's just continue. Damn. And to answer your question, yeah. I saw how you and Yuri were talking about her writing yesterday. And I didn't feel like... And I didn't feel like... And I didn't like feeling left out. That's way more honest than I expected. No kidding. I'm sorry I made you feel left out. I, I'll try not to in the future. You know, we both will. <laughs> Fine. So, uh, what else can you tell us about our poems? Are we royalty? Indeed, peasant. They're not bad, are they? No, it's just... Well, your poem's a bit too fancy in my taste. But it's not as fancy as yours, so... I can see a good meaning. Meiji's is simpler, but it's got a clear meaning, too. She chuckles. You two just got lucky, you know? Lucky with? Writing poems like this. Don't get used to it. You two won't always manage to write poems that, this, that are this well written. I mean, good. I mean... No. <laughs> you think our poems are good, huh? N no, why are you smiling? Natsuki shoves the poem back towards me. D don't read too much into it, okay? She's definitely cute. Wait, her lines changed. What happened to her saying our poems are bad after all? Script, you're so strange sometimes. I won't, I promise. Well, anyway, you gonna tell me what you thought about mine now? Don't forget who the real pro is. <laughs> yes, ma'am. Well, it's certainly longer than yesterday's for sure. Yesterday's was way too short. I was just warming up. I hope you didn't think it was the best I could do. I stand and make a dramatic pose. It wasn't even your final form. <laughs> you dork. Guilty as charged. Anyway, uh, do continue. I sit back down. Anyway, the message is pretty straightforward in this poem. I doubt I have to explain it. But you're going to regardless, right? Yep, there she goes. Sometimes you can explain complicated issues with something uh, which, with much more simpler analogies. And it helps people realize how stupid they're being. Like anyone would agree that the subject of this poem is being an ignorant jerk. Well, I mean, true. I wrote it to be easy to relate to. Everyone has some kind of weird hobby or guilty pleasure. Something that they're afraid people will find out. 
that they just make fun of you or think less of you. Yeah, like, again, the way she's saying this, like, y pe people really think that she's talking about Yuri cutting? Like, I don't know, man. It she, She's talking about it, like, way too nonchalantly, and I feel like it... Like, she's talking about, like, making the simple... Like, making it simpler for people to realize how stupid they're being. And I feel like it's, like, a... A little belittling to Yuri cutting herself, but you know, you know, maybe I don't know, maybe, maybe I'm wrong. But that just makes people stupid. Who cares what someone likes, as long as they're not hurting anyone and it makes them happy? Yeah, like you know, I I think you're probably hurting yourself if you're cutting yourself. Dude, no wonder I literally did never thought of that interpretation because that is the stupidest interpretation I've ever goddamn heard. I'm so sorry, but if you commented that that's what you thought it was, like, five minutes ago, like, you pause the video comment that, you're pretty dumb. Like, <laughs> it's okay, though. We learn together. I still love you, but it was, it, was pretty, it was a pretty dumb thing for you to write there. I'm just, I'm just saying. You can still believe it. You can die on that hill, but I think it's probably, like, not the smartest hill to die on. Okay? That's all. Who cares what someone else is like? As long as they make them happy, yeah. I mean, or, or you are an extreme metagamer, you know? Listen, if, if that is your thought process for people even cutting themselves, like, it's a hot take, but I do, I understand where you're coming from, okay? I'm just, I'm making everybody hate me at this point. I think you really need to, really need to learn to respect others for liking weird things. Yeah, like cutting themselves, obviously. <laughs> It's just so dumb. There's no way. There's just, there's no way. I agree with you. Up to a... Bing! Point. Huh? What do you mean? Some hobbies that, uh, some p things that people do, you know, can be pretty self-destructive. Your mug and baking hobbies aren't, but there are some that are more intense that, you know, can be quite harmful. I won't ever judge anyone for their likes or dislikes. That's just how they are, but the thing is some hobbies are dangerous and can lead to the hobbyist getting hurt. Well, I understand that. I'm glad you can appreciate this kind of writing. Just look forward to more tomorrow, okay? <laughs>